The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Hi, Aaliyah, Miami Lakes High takes on Miami Beach High tonight on School Duel. And welcome to School Duel, where 24 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, tonight's game features Hialeah Miami Lakes High versus Miami Beach High in what should be quite a showdown. And before we begin, let me tell you what these students are playing for. Well, first off, both teams will win beautiful trophies courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. <laughs> For the runner-up school tonight, each player receives $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. And last but not least, for the winners, well, each of these students will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. All right. They are excited to be here, and our opening round is called First Strike. In this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. The first question deals with trees. Oak tree seeds are called acorns. This type of tree produces seeds called samaras. Identify this tree that comes in types called Japanese and sugar and produces a syrup. Yes, Matthew? Cherry blossom. Incorrect, Miami Beach. It produces a syrup that is often put on pancakes. Logan. Maple. Yes, very good. All right, we are off. Next question deals with artists. What was the nationality of the artist who painted the Mona Lisa? Yes, Noah? Italian. Yes, very good. <laughs> countries. What African country's capital is named for James Monroe, who was president of the United States in 1822 when it was established by the American Colonization Society as a place for freed slaves to settle? Roberto? Liberia. Very good. <laughs> Spelling. Spell the word principle, meaning a moral rule, Logan. P-R-I-N-C-I-P-L-E. Very good. <laughs> Baseball. In 2021, he became the first starting pitcher since Babe Ruth to lead Major League Baseball in home runs. Yes, Matthew? Shohei Otani. Very good. All right. Let's move on to children's literature. On a blustery day, the tree containing his house blows down. Name this wise bird who lives in the hundred... Yes, Noah? Owl. Yes, very good. All right, it is time for the What Am I question brought to you by Edco Awards and Specialties in Davie. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So here goes. This word comes from the Greek for spiral wing. Identify this type of aircraft that does not need, yes, Matthew? Helicopter. Very good. <laughs> All right, here's something about the helicopter. Leonardo da Vinci sketched an early idea for a helicopter that he called an aerial screw in the 1480s, but the first working helicopter was not built until 1907. All right, U.S. states. Admitted to the Union in 1889, what U.S. state is the only one that borders three Canadian provinces and is nicknamed, yes, Matthew? Montana. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, tie game. Scientist, his real name was William Thompson, but he is better known today by his noble title. Identify this British scientist, the namesake of the temperature scale on which, yes, Roberto? Kelvin. Very good. <laughs> Musical instruments. Usually a symphony orchestra consists of four groups of musical instruments, including the brass, percussion, strings, and Matthew? Woodwinds. Yes, very good. 
All right, mythology. In Roman mythology, what son of Jupiter and Juno was the god of volcanoes, Roberto? Uh, Mars. Incorrect, Miami Beach. I'll finish the question. In Roman mythology, what son of Jupiter and Juno was the god of volcanoes, fire, and the forge, and shares his name with the home planet of Star Trek's Mr. Spock? Yes, Noah? Vulcan. Yes, very good. That horn means the end to the first strike round. We do have a very close game. Hylia Miami Lakes has 60 points. Miami Beach has 50 points. Don't go anywhere, because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Achievement provides a curriculum where students can build and prepare how to be accomplished, successful adults. It's a budgeting, financial literacy, personal finance program that we're doing with the school system. They're going to play out life scenarios, really learning how to live out a lifestyle uh, within their means and budget. The kids learn it and they bring it back home and it really helps the entire family. And it begins to start impacting schools and it'll impact our nation. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. First round of action ended with a very close game. Hylia Miami Lakes has 60 points. Miami Beach right behind them with 50 points. Now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hi everyone, I'm Roberto, I'm a sophomore and I'm team captain. Let's go Trojans. Hi everyone, my name is Matthew, I'm a junior and let's go Trojans. Hi all, I'm Maurice, I'm a sophomore, let's go Trojans. Hi everyone, my name's Kenny, I'm a junior, let's go Trojans! Hey guys, we're super excited about the boot today. We've been practicing for months and we're ready to take that W home for HMO. Uh, last minute preparations, Roberto just grabbed his laptop and we're, we're about to get in this right now, let's go. We came, we buzzed, we conquered. Let's go Trojans! Hi, I'm Nina, I'm a senior and I'm the team captain, and go High Tides. Hi, I'm Noah and I'm a sophomore. Go High Tides. Hi, I'm Logan, I'm a junior. Go High Tides! Hi, I'm Maria, I'm a sophomore, and go High Tides! Logan, <laughs> how are you feeling? Doing great. Noah, uh, how was your day going? It's all right. It started like an hour ago, so not much has happened. Did it start like an hour ago? Are you excited? I'm very excited. How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right, actually. You are? I think I'll do all right. I think I will come in clutch when necessary. Beaches dynamite. Go Ice Ice! I love it. Let's hear it for both schools. <laughs> All right. Now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the joust. And it's presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. 
So let's have Roberto and Nina come on down. <laughs> All right, you two, here's your toss of question. It's worth 10 points. What directional sea borders Norway, Germany, and Netherlands? Yes, Roberto? North Sea. Yes, very good. All right, we're with HML. All right, HML, the following bonus questions all deal with identifying seas. Bonus question number one. What colorful sea borders Sudan, Yemen, and Egypt? Yes, Matthew? The Red Sea. Yes, very good. <laughs> bonus question number two. What sea, whose name comes from the Latin for middle of the world, borders Egypt? Yes, Matthew? Mediterranean. Yes, very good. <laughs> bonus question number three. What sea borders Papua New Guinea and Australia and is named for the reefs that can be found there? Matthew? The Great Barrier Sea. Incorrect, it's Coral Sea. All right, my next two are Matthew and Logan. Come on down, it's your turn to joust. Here's your toss of question, again, we're 10 points. What animated sitcoms cast includes landlord Calvin Fishoder, pizza maker Jimmy Pesto, and the Belcher family, who, yes, Logan? Bob's Burgers. Yes, very good, Miami Beach. The following bonus questions all deal with identifying animated TV shows from their characters. Bonus question number one. What animated show's cast includes Fry, Leela, and the sarcastic Logan? Futurama. Yes, very good. Bonus question number two. What animated series focuses on the Smith family, including a mad scientist grandfather and his Logan? Rick and Morty. Yes. <laughs> Bonus question number three. What animated series follows the Griffin family? Yes, Logan. Family Guy. All right. <laughs> All right. Our last two to joust are Noah and Moritz. Come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your class up question. Which first American program to put humans in space was named for the closest planet to the sun? Yes, Noah? Mercury. Yes, very good. All right, we're back at Miami Beach. The following bonus questions all deal with American space programs. Bonus question number one. After the Mercury program, what program was used to practice docking two vehicles in space and was named for the third sign of the zodiac? Noah. Ram. Incorrect, it's the Gemini program. Bonus question number two. What 1970s program put the first manned space station into orbit? Noah. Apollo. Incorrect, it's Skylab program. Bonus question number three. What upcoming space program is planned to resume manned missions to the moon and shares its name with the Greek goddess of the hunt, the sister of Apollo? Yes, Logan? Artemis. Yes, very good. Oh, that buzzer means the end to the joust. We do have Miami Beach leading now. They have 110 points. Hylia Miami Lakes has 90 points. But don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Three, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now.
Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. where local high schools match wits, and today's game has Hialeah Miami Lakes High competing against Miami Beach High School. Currently, Miami Beach is leading. They have 110 points. Hialeah Miami Lakes, they have 90 points. It is time for the rapid action round, and during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Now, since HML is trailing, they get to go first while Miami Beach waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with R as in Romeo. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter R as in Romeo, and each question is worth 10 points. Now remember that you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's go, here comes rapid action. Cue music, and let's begin. Arboro, Basmati, and Jasmine are all types of this grain. Yes, Matthew? Rice. 16th century movement that led to the development of, Matthew? Renaissance. Alex Haley novel that became a TV miniseries starring LeVar Burton as Kunta Kinte. The outside of an orange, a watermelon, or some, yes, Matthew? Rind. In chemistry, the opposite of oxidation. Roberto. Reduction. Neither urban nor suburban. Rural. A professional who helps you buy or sell your home. Matthew. Realtor. Toronto NBA team whose mascot is Matthew. Raptors. Someone whose cancer is gone is said to be in this state. Matthew. Recovered. This color of light has the longest wavelength of the visible, yes, Roberto? Red. Very good, HML, you got through all of your questions. Let's hear it for Hialeah Miami Lakes High. And now with a little TV magic, let's bring in their competitors for Miami Beach High. All right, welcome back Miami Beach. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with R as in Romeo. And in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter R as in Romeo. And each question is worth 10 points. Now remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on, okay? So let's cue music and begin. Arboro, Basmati, and Jasmine are all types of this grain. Noah. Rice. 16th century movement that led to the development of Protestantism. Noah. Reformation. Alex Haley novel that became a TV miniseries starring LeVar Burton as Kunta Kinte. Noah. Roots. The outside of an orange, a watermelon, or some type of cheese. Logan. Rind. In chemistry, the opposite of oxidation. Noah. Reoxidation. Neither urban nor suburban. Logan. Rural. A professional who helps you buy or sell your home. Logan. Realtor. Toronto NBA team whose mascot is a dinosaur, Logan. Raptors. Someone whose cancer is gone is said to be in Logan. Remission. This color of light has the longest wavelength of the visible, yes, Noah? Red. All right, good job to both teams. There's my buzzer. That means the end to the rapid action round. And we currently have Miami Beach leading. They have 200 points. Hialeah Miami Lakes has 160 points. But let's take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game. <laughs> Oh! 
Junior Achievement provides a curriculum where students can build and prepare how to be accomplished, successful adults. It's a budgeting, financial literacy, personal finance program that we're doing with the school system. They're gonna play out life scenarios, really learning how to live out a lifestyle uh, within their means and budget. The kids learn it and they bring it back home and it really helps the entire family. And it begins to start impacting schools and it'll impact our nation. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. a good game going as Miami Beach is leading. They have 200 points. Hylia Miami Lakes, not too far behind. They have 160 points. It is now time for the final showdown, and this is our last round. Our schools go against each other again with toss-up questions. This time, these questions are worth 20 points each. Now, just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. So this is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. Place names. The U.S. cities of St. Louis, Missouri, and Louisville, Kentucky are both named after kings of what European nation, Noah? France. Amendments. Part of the Bill of Rights, what amendment to the Constitution prohibits forcing U.S. citizens to feed and house Noah? The fourth. Incorrect. Matthew. The third. Chemistry. Name the type of chemical bond in which atoms share electrons. Roberta. Covalent. The Olympics, what Olympic sport includes events in which individuals or pairs plunge into a pool from a three meter Logan? Diving. Fast math, what is the value of X to the seventh times X to the third? Logan. X to the 10th. Novels, what Mary Shelley novel is actually named, yes Logan? Frankenstein. Fruits, what fruit comes in varieties including Jaffa, Caracara, Blood, Mandarin, Valencia, yes Matthew? Orange. U.S. history. What American politician spent eight years as Bill Clinton's vice president but lost the 2000 presidential election? Matthew? Al Gore. Actresses. What actress, whose real first name is Laura, played Melanie in Sweet Home Alabama, June in Walk the Line, and L in Legally Blonde? Logan. Reese Witherspoon. Devices. Often equipped with lights that flashed while it played music, it was popular in 1950s diners. Name this old-timey, yes, Matthew? Jukebox. Poems. In an Ernest Thayer poem, what mighty baseball player disappoints all of Mudville by striking out when he is at the bat? Casey at the bat. Genetics. What genetic condition is caused by having an extra copy of chromosome number? Yes, Maurice? Down syndrome. Fast Capitals. What is the capital of Mexico? Noah. Mexico City. Companies. What online real estate company based in Seattle calls its guesses at the current value of a property Zestimates? Yes, Matthew. Zillow. The Old Testament. Name this eldest son of Adam and Eve who murdered his brother Abel out of jealousy. Logan. Cain. Monarchs. What last Tudor monarch of England was the daughter of Henry VIII? Yes, Roberto. Elizabeth I. Grammar. What eight-letter word is defined as a sentence made of anything less than an independent clause? Logan. Dependent? Incorrect. Maritz. Fragment. Shakespeare. The Shakespeare play Hamlet is set in what European country? Roberto? Uh, Scotland. Incorrect. Miami Beach. In what European country of which Hamlet is a prince? Logan. England. Incorrect. It's Denmark. 
Physics. Identify this law, named for a German physicist, that says that resistance equals voltage divided by current. Yes, Logan. Euler's law? Incorrect. HML? It's the Ohm's law. The cell. What cell organelle, named for an Italian biologist, packages proteins into... Yes, Loa. Golgi apparatus? Composers. What composer wrote the operas Don Giovanni and... Yes, Matthew. Mozart. Russia. Meant to be his window on the west, what Russian city was founded in, Roberto? St. Petersburg. All right, that sound brings an end to this full cool duel game as Hialeah Miami Lakes held on to their lead over Miami Beach, ending with a score of 380 to 360. Congratulations, HML. You have each won Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Great job to everyone. Let's hear it for both schools. And at this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you at home for watching. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved and you can watch past shows. Remember to use the hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Coral Glades High takes on Sheridan Technical High in what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>